Hi everyone, this is Robin. Uh, welcome to my little crafting heaven room here in my home. Um, I have um, been wanting to get to this for a long time. Uh, these are little golden Christmas books. I made, I think I made eight last year and I think I sold three. I kept one and these are the four that I have left. So I wanted to do a video on them. Um, these are, I think, 1976 to about the mid-80s as an age for the books. Um, I'm going to show you one because all of them have the same pages throughout. They might be a different color or a different pattern um, or a different tag or a different belly band, but each, each book is the same. So the first one I have is The Night Before Christmas. I'll just show you the covers and the sides. And each one has a dangle on the side. They all have beads inside them. They're wrapped with ribbon. And that's the back. The next one is Christmas Carols. You can see the dangles here. And this would be the buttons on this one. And they all have um, a set of beads like this one. And a little Christmas dangle. And this one is Santa's Toy Shop. Again, it has beads. Dangle. I love these buttons. These are so fun to work with. Um, figuring out patterns for them and the backs are the same and you can see the dangles on this one too so the book I'm gonna open for you is gonna be frosty um, I love the uh, white pom-poms I was able to put on there they look like little snowballs for them and again we have a little dangle bead and a little um, dangle on the side Make sure I'm in frame here. And let me see if I can get you a little closer. Move this up a little bit. Okay. So here we have the front. They all have a little pocket and they all have little tickets inside along with the card. Um, I'm, I'm not sure what paper I used. I think it was just a paper pad from Michael's, I believe. And this is the dangle for this page. And they all have a little envelope here, which opens up for some journaling. and I put some vellum in here where they have little hearts on them and here's the beginning of the book the books are in order with the, the pages folded and this one is 1976 some more cute paper and some tags and some old um, Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. um, yeah, you know this kind of paper that I'm talking about <laughs> that I can't think of right now. Yeah, um, that'll come in later. And here I put, um, they each have, um, something from the book for children. This one has salt dough ornaments and it lifts up for more, um, journaling behind it. They all have a popcorn bag with a little booklet in it, some papers. And they have the fiber paper here. Um, that's real pretty. I don't have very much of that, it's just gorgeous. And I put a coloring book page in here. St. Nicholas card with some uh, paper on the back for journaling. And then there's an envelope and inside it I have a little 
little tag. The graphics in here are gorgeous. They're so cute. Um, here is a little fold tag with a little um, tag I made. I believe this is a Hermelinda fold. I'm not sure, but it goes down like this. And you have a beautiful card. Opens this way. And there's another beautiful card. So there's lots of journaling spaces here. And in the back, I don't know if you can see all this. It's all the way down. In the back is a tuck spot. It's an envelope, and inside it, I put another little booklet with papers in it. And then just put these back like this. I have so much fun making these. I love the folds. And here we have the um, deer with the red nose and some more um, tags that I made. Um, I used some foil. And this is an old catalog page. A little fabric topper. This is a belly band. Um, it also has a belly band in front. And some more Santa Claus tags. And this is also... Um, this is also a tag I made last winter. A little tag here. That's right. Journaling um, lines on the back. And this is also a page that opens up. And you have more area here for journaling. And then it slips in like that. This is an old page from a book. This is a fabric flip. This is the center of the first journal. There are two signatures and there's about 70, 72 to 80 pages in each one. Just a little doily I put in the back. Here's the other side of that paper. There's another fabric flip. You can put journaling behind it. Some uh, chiffon roses and some decorations and here's the other side of the book with <laughs> the old old outfits my goodness 75 cents wow and here i had some uh oh, i've had these forever these are little christmas bulbs if you can see them um they, each book has a page of christmas lights like that in them and this is some of my hand dyed green paper some snowflakes crocheted. Here's the other side of the envelope. And in here I put a Christmas card. More paper, paper for journaling. Here's the other side of that. Here's the other side of the fiber paper. And then here's the other side. I put an old doily in here. The other side of the popcorn bag. I don't know. Frosty looks a little scary right there. I don't know. It's one thing I noticed. <laughs> they could have made him look a little nicer than like an evil, an evil snowman. And uh, this is, um, Okay, I still can't remember. It's not coming to my mind. Ledger paper. Ah, I got it. Ledger paper. This is actually um, used, and you can see that somebody wrote on here. It's kind of neat. More paper to write on. The other side of the vellum with the hearts. And this is one of the dangles on here. You can see it's blue. And here's the start of the second signature. Um, I love the pink colors they do at Christmas time. I think 
pink for Christmas is wonderful. I like that. Um, and Yonder Santa with pink in the background and green. And some more um, decorations. And then I put red fiber um, mulberry paper. That's what this is called, mulberry paper. You can see all the veins in it. Just love it. It's an envelope I decorated. I'll put something in it. Yep. I have a little gingerbread card in there with lines in the back. And this is a piece of ribbon. I'm going to put some, some uh, things on the end. It's kind of a belly band with a handmade tag that I made last year. Uh, lines in the back for writing. And this is a tuck page. This is an old Christmas card. I put in Christmas cards that I have in each one. This one was from 19, 14, 1912 or 1914. Can't make that out. It's old. Thought it looked perfect on that page. Here's some vellum on this one. This one has little white hearts. Here's the other side of the envelope. I put a little Merry Christmas with a little girl on it. Paper on the back for more journaling. And some music paper. Some more old paper for Christmas. Candy canes that are on the back. And each one has a plastic bag. I put in each one. And they have snowmans on it. This one has lines in the back also for journaling. And here's a little tag I did. <laughs> a little Tim Holtz man with some uh, bling. And this is a, uh, I think this is a Rita Donald clip. I fold it out. It folds all the way up for hidden journaling. Here's the fabric clip on here. A pink paper on the back that I did myself. This um, is a little tag that I made. And this flips up for more journaling. And I'm sorry if you can hear my dogs in the back. I have them in another room for being so loud today. Well, I'll have to get that later. I have tags all through the top, so it's very busy on the top. There's the other side of the candy canes. I can't remember the magazine. Um, I think it's the old children's magazine from the 60s. There's the other side of the music paper. And here is the other top with a really pretty Santa Claus. Put that in the back. More paper like that. Here's another fold. I think this is a Hermelinda fold. You just simply pick it up, and move it over so you can see the effect. It's an accordion opening. So you could write all kinds of things in there. I love how this this was coffee stained, and then I put a little few sprinkles on it. It's the other side of the envelope. Tag. Here's the other side of the mulberry paper. A little tag, and the dangle for this page. So all the books are basically um, very similar on the inside. They all have stuff on the uh, top like this. Uh, the papers are similar. All the tags um, were put in each book. All the fold-outs. And they all have um, jewels on the end. These will be listed in my Etsy and uh, there's free shipping on them. So, um, I don't think... What announcements do I have? Um, I will be back probably this week sometime. Um, I have to 
start printing um, some design team papers for um, Drunken with Staff and for Poppiness for Susan Taylor Bro. So those are my next two um, projects that I'm going to do. Um, and that's all I can think of, I think, for now. I hope everyone's having a good week. I hope the temperature isn't too hot where you are. It's hot and humid here in Virginia. Um, and happy crafting. Bye.